when it comes to slime cultures, I don't understand it. But then you have edible slime culture. Edible? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. Edible. I don't know how I feel about that. Me neither. And so for today's Cash or Trash, the episode where we review multiple craft kits to make sure that I waste my money and you don't. Joining me today is my sister Sika, who looks sweet but is an absolute demon. <laughs> <laughs> today we're going to be looking at two different price point edible slime kits. The first kit is by Karina Garcia, who is a huge YouTuber here on the platform at 9.1 million subscribers. She was pretty known for making a lot of different kinds of slime, and I have to be very clear, I have nothing against Karina Garcia herself. Let's be clear, I am looking at the product, not the person. So for those of you who want to say, But Yankee, you're just jealous that she has more subscribers than you. No, look at me, straight into the windows of my soul. Are you laughing at me? Yeah, because I know where that comes from. <laughs> I look this woman dead in the windows of her soul. I love Keen Peel. Keen are the best. So for this one, we have an edible slime Kool-Aid kit. I remember seeing this kit last summer. While I was at VidCon, I actually saw Karina Garcia give a demonstration of this kit, but it was nowhere to be found in Canada. Oh, really? Yep. Mm. So this here was sent to me by my buddy Ace of Clay. Thank you. He loves sending me things that make me bring out the salt. And the Karina Garcia kit costs $20. US? US. Do you have any other questions? What is the meaning of life? Oh, the meaning of life is what you make of it. You have to find the definition of who you are first before you ask. Hey! I can keep saying I had a moment! <laughs> <laughs> the next kit at $5 is candy gloop. <coughs> is that salt coming out? Yeah. Who wants to eat something that's called gloop? I know, right? <laughs> it sounds like gloop. Candy gloop. Ugh. Doesn't sound good either. Also an edible slime that you can make and eat. And this one looks interesting because it's cotton candy flavored. Ooh, I love cotton candy. Did that catch your attention? Yeah. Okay. It's like... Where did you get that snack from? It's been here since the last time I was here. Well, we're not sponsored, put that away! <laughs> By the way, for those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, otherwise I will wave a sharp pointy thing at you. Look at this. It's sharp. Actually, not very much, but I will wave it. And for those of you looking for Burb merch, it is only available until February 14th. And then after that, it's limited edition and then goodbye Burb shirts. It comes in I am a lovable jerk, fancy Burb, and flaunt what you worked for. And so the first kit we're going to be trying is Karina Garcia Make Your Own Kool-Aid Edible Slime Kit with edible confetti. Comes in cherry and blue raspberry. Mm hmm. But what, what did I just say? Edible confetti! Right? Good girl, I'm proud of you. Have fun. I thought it was really funny that it says edible confetti! But I think it's just sprinkles, right? Probably. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, it's just shaped sprinkles. And our favorite thing written in the back of the box includes everything you need. Which means most likely it will not include everything you need. So I am pretty excited. Usually I absolutely despise cherry flavored when it comes to artificial flavors. I can't stand cherry flavors. How about you, Sika? Not a fan of cherry flavor things either, only the fruit. Let me know in the comment section below what artificial flavor is your least favorite. I remember when I asked this last time, many of you said you hated banana. Yeah, I was gonna say banana. Artificial banana salt. Yeah. I'm really curious. Like medicine. And cherry too. Cherry tastes grape like the dentist. As well. Yeah, grape was pretty popular. I don't know. I like to know you grains, so I do read your comments. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> Really? The things I have to deal with. Here's what we get inside. Two packs of secret slime mix, a mixing container and storage containers. We get two flavors. So we've got blue raspberry and cherry, and they actually do smell like Kool-Aid when you open the bag. And I have to say that the packaging looks really nice, which yeah. is a nice change, because the last time I did a Karina Garcia kit, everything was just thrown into little baggies with nothing resealable, so it was very 
We also get gloves for some reason. I guess if you're gonna play with your slime, Before it can't be gross. It. Yeah. Edible confetti. <laughs> Which is... Oh, hang on. Say it right. We get... Edible confetti! Edible confetti! Edible confetti! A plastic spoon. And a colored instructional sheet. On glossy paper. On glossy paper. I have to admit, so far, after reading the instructions, it really does include, include everything you need. That's interesting. So we're going to go ahead and make both of the slimes. Because for $20... It better be one of the most amazing things I've had as a slime edible kit thing. Have you ever had edible slime? No. Hmm. So it better be the best. So it's the only one you can base yourself on. Which means if it's the worst, that's a bad thing, right? I guess. I confused myself. Um... What? So the only thing we technically need is two teaspoons of water. And since we have the teaspoon provided, that makes it so much easier. The only thing that's missing is water. You know what that means? Give. Go get some water! Get! Go! Ah! I'm still the boss. <laughs> That's it. Make sure you close the door. Whatever mm -hmm. helps you sleep at night. <laughs> I'm still the boss. A few minutes later. Alright, so Sika, I'm going to let you have first choice. You're going to have your secret slime mix. And you have these two choices of flavors. Which one do you want? I don't like cherry, so... <laughs> You know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, maybe you're being nice to me and you're giving me the flavor that I like. Uh. Alright, sniff test. Oh, did you smell that? No. <laughs> it went up in the air. It actually smells like Kool-Aid. And if it actually tastes like the Kool-Aid, <coughs> if it tastes like Kool-Aid jammers, then I'll be okay because I actually really like the Kool-Aid jammer cherry. It legitimately smells like Kool-Aid. Yeah, Kool-Aid. I haven't had Kool-Aid in forever. I drink them often. <laughs> I don't even know if I had ever had Kool-Aid. I get the Kool-Aid jammers. Okay, I've never had Kool-Aid before. What? I have the blue raspberry one at home. I have the cherry one and I have one eternity later. And I also have strawberry kiwi, which I found recently. I didn't even know it existed. Oh, uh, what? Oh, cool. Very awesome. <laughs> I am a lovable jerk. <laughs> So if you like the lollipop that is cherry flavored, it really does smell like that too. Can I? Mm. Nope. No, nope. you keep your tongue in your mouth. No, and then we have the secret mix, which it smells like flour. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It smells like flour. All right, so let's pour this in here. This one too? Yup, the whole thing. Do the mixy mixy. Before putting on the water, we watched the tutorial video where Karina Garcia herself made the slime kit. And she really said that we only need to put the two spoons of water, even though it's going to be very powdery. We just have to keep kneading it until it's absorbed all of it. So, Zika, have fun, girl. Why you gotta push me? Because I'm left-handed. <laughs> and you're in my way. Wow! Ooh, that is pigmented. Okay. Oh, it's getting slimy already. <laughs> Are you okay? It's almost like you're just turning it into nothing. I'm gonna go get you a wooden board. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. You're gonna... You Did you just mess my desk? Yes. No! Oh my god, it's so gloopy. <laughs> I see that one. wrote gloop. Who wants to eat something that's called gloop? Okay, I'm gonna get you a board. So I went ahead and picked up this thing, which could be confused for... A spanking tool? <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta expose me? But it's just, it's a wooden board. So, here you go, Sika. You can, you can mix your gloop in there. So far, it's looking pretty good. Oh, it's so sticky. How does it, it feels sticky? Yeah. I wanna touch it. Yeah, so I guess it definitely needs to continue taking the powder. It smells very cherry-y. I feel like it's gonna be like, Laffy Taffy. Oh, maybe. Consistency. Yeah, it's so like a melted Laffy Taffy. <laughs> probably, edible slime is just Laffy Taffy. But I guess we'll find out. We'll be back shortly. A few moments later. And so here we are. Sika kneaded it pretty well. It is way stickier than the one in the Karina Garcia video. Let's take a look again <laughs> at Karina Garcia's video. And that's it. We have our edible Kool-Aid slime. This is it right here. It looks pretty stretchy and a lot less sticky, whereas this one doesn't stop sticking. So my guess is maybe they put less water, and but look at that. It's super stretchy. It's very stretchy, but very, very, very <laughs> sticky. Uh. All right, for the team, I'm gonna try cherry. 
It's not as strong tasting as I expected it to be. It's actually not bad. I still don't like cherry flavor, but yeah, if you're going to play with edible slime, this is pretty much the consistency I would expect it to have. I and don't like the texture. But that's slime edible texture thing. Ugh. I have to admit, this is probably one of- Stop interrupting me! I'm hanging off my fingers. Oh, gross. <laughs> Probably one of Karina Garcia's better kits out there. Probably because it was also a collaboration with Kool-Aid, which is pretty fun. I expected it to taste stronger though. Well, we're gonna try the blue one now. How do we get it off? <laughs> there's, no, there's no way around. All right, let's make the blue one. Time to sniff the blue raspberry. I can already smell it in the air. Oh. Oh, that smells strong. That's really strong. Oh, my teeth hurt. That's I'm really still strong. having trouble getting this off. Like, I've been trying to take this off. For, like, <laughs> She's been struggling years. over the garbage bin. <laughs> this smells like hyper sweet Gatorade. Then again, I haven't had Kool-Aid before, so. I don't like Gatorade. I've had fake Kool-Aid, but I don't think I've ever had Kool-Aid Kool-Aid. What's considered fake Kool-Aid? Store brand name. Powdered packets? Of juice? I only had that during camping. Oh. See? Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the one when we went to Kinkora. Okay. Yes. We used to go camping at a place called Kinkora, which is really fun. So here we are, and I actually put half a spoon of water less, and look at that, it's a lot less sticky, and it's still super, well, it was super stretchy. It was super stretchy, but it still is pretty stretchy. You could put more water, but then the downside is that it's way more sticky, so you have to find out what's your sweet spot. Speaking of sweet spot, time to taste it. It smells like Play-Doh. Oh, it's sugary. Oh, it's turning into slime in my mouth. <laughs> because there's not enough water. <laughs> I expected them to taste a lot stronger. Is that how Kool-Aid tastes like? No. It smelled like Kool-Aid before we started mixing it all. So as someone who's had Kool-Aid, what would you say the flavor is like? It's very diluted right now compared to what I'm used to. Not a fan. We didn't even put the confetti. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's taste the confetti because can't kind of taste it. Oh, well in her video, she says there's sprinkles. Next we have some sprinkles. Not confetti. Tastes like sprinkles. Mm-hmm. So for me, as an edible slime kit, did it do what it promised to do? Yeah. yeah. Was it easy to follow? Yeah. yeah. Were the instructions pretty precise? Yeah. yeah. So at $20, for those of you who want to support your favorite creator or YouTuber, yeah, I would say this kit did deliver, even though flavor-wise, it that wasn't is, at par. But it's very subjective. Yeah. It did deliver. So some people might like this as though they're eating slime. It wasn't gross. It just wasn't what we like. The texture was pretty weird. It's slime. Yeah. Worth your cash. Worth your cash. I mean... Worth your cash! I mean... I wor mean... Worth your cash! <laughs> Our next kit, Candy Gloop. This one here is at $5, which is a huge difference. Obviously four times cheaper than the Karina Garcia Kool-Aid Slime Kit. So what I'm really curious about is whether or not this is going to give us a similar result and whether it's actually going to taste, well, can candy cotton. Candy cotton. English number one. <laughs> cotton candy flavor. <laughs> <laughs> and I love cotton candy flavored stuff, so it's we'll going see. Go ahead. Go on. That's go all on. I have to say. No, no, go ahead. I interrupt. I just, I just <laughs> That's it. No, I'm not talking anymore. I'm getting like itchy nose. Okay. I have nothing left to say, okay? You interrupted me and that's, that's the end of it. How does it feel? Getting a taste of your own medicine! <laughs> Moving on. So what we're going to be comparing is pretty much the texture and whether the $5 one is worth it more than the $20 one for us and uh, where it compares and where it for 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 Charles falls short. Fudge. Yeah. <laughs> Englishing so great right now. Absolutely 
fantastique. What I love about this box is the girl looks like she's maybe gonna eat it, but not quite. I feel like this is probably the scenario that happened with the producer. All right, Samantha, just I want you for this photo shoot to not eat this. Bring it as close as possible to your mouth, but don't eat it. Are you sure you don't want me to eat it? I'm pretty sure it's a candy kit. No, no, but I don't want you to taste it and then be like, oh, this is gross. And then afterwards, you're just gonna be frowning for the camera. I don't want that. So just pretend you're gonna eat it, okay? Okay. All right, time to see what we get inside. Is that it? That's the entirety of this box. That's it. These two things in this big box. Companies? No. Bad. Wow. We are already having a hard time when it comes to the environment and you go ahead and use huge boxes like this for itty bitty packages like that. That's gonna leave a bruise. Uh Here's what we get inside. Measuring spoon and the container, which they said to wash thoroughly. With soap. With soap. And I don't water. I don't know what's in there, but this means Go on you gopher! We also get a cotton candy mix, which we're supposed to use half of it, but there's no indication of how to divide this in half, so that's not really helpful. And we also get a mini instructional sheet. Really, if they're going to be using this kind of tiny packaging, they could have taken a way smaller box and gotten the same result. But I guess let's go ahead and follow the instructions. All right, so we're going to be pouring half of this and then adding four tiny spoons. Yeah, four spoons. And before we pour it, let us do the sniffage. Ooh. Ooh. It smells like cotton, cotton candy. candy. It smells really good. So let us pour the contents. That bowl, it's weird. It looks like they took the bottom of a fruit cup. <laughs> Everything is food with you. <laughs> it does, actually. It does look like the bottom of a fruit cup or a jello cup. Okay, so we're gonna have to eyeball half of it because they didn't give us anything to measure with. So I'm going to guess... It smells like cotton candy in the room now. <laughs> it's kind of sickening, but it smells good at the same time. It literally smells like the cereal. Does it? Yeah. And of course she's gonna bring out food out of anywhere randomly. Sniff it. I can confirm. Yeah. <laughs> it smells exactly the same. It really does. All right, let's, oh, okay, let's put our four little spoons. Go for it. One Mississippi. Oh, pink. Two Mississippi, three, and four. So we mix, oh, we're gonna use the Karina Garcia to mix it? Might as well. Okay. I think it's a better mixing spoon than the other one. That's true. All right, we will get back to you grains after this mess. After these messages. <laughs> Cause when you're a grain, you come in like a hurricane. A few moments later. So here we are after kneading it and waiting for 10 minutes. It smells nauseatingly like cotton candy in this room. It's like a cotton candy hot box. <laughs> and the result is... Ooh. It's quite... Wow. That's actually pretty impressive though. Still pretty stretchy. Yeah. And not as sticky as the Karina Garcia one, which is pretty interesting. And you get the same amount too. We do, because we can make two of them for $5 versus two of them for $20. $20. Although you do get two flavors in the other one, so. But you're also paying for the name Kool-Aid and for yeah. the name Karina Garcia. Exactly. So, now the question is, how does it taste? Oh, oh it's getting sticky. <laughs> now it's getting sticky. Now it's getting sticky. <laughs> Did you just eat it before me? Wow. It has a crunch to it. <laughs> Spitters are quitters. That's I'm a quitter. <laughs> oh, this is oh. the case where it smells way better. Yeah, than it tastes. And it was very grainy. It almost felt like sand, I guess, between your, your teeth. Yeah, it was really gross. For some reason, it smelled really uh, good. I have like a really bad aftertaste. So it's grainy, it smells better than it tastes. I'm conflicted because the price was pretty great. Doesn't matter. For me, this kit is gross on so many levels. So for me, this kit would go in, in the trash. trash! Ooh, nice straw. Thank you. I've practiced for the last two years. 
So if you're one of those grains that absolutely needs some kind of edible slime, then definitely the Karina Garcia one had better, better flavor. Yeah, and better consistency as well. It wasn't grainy at all. And it really did have everything you need. <laughs> Remember, if you want to reach Sika, you can find her on Instagram at nerdysister underscore Sika. And if you want to watch the previous craft kit review, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a crafting video, check it out down here. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.